Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay, okay. Twenty twenty been a hell of a year. It's time to sit back, relax, spread some cheer. D plus the kid, have no fear. It's the most magical time of the year. God lint stockings, hot cocoa. Egg knock, Santa in the reindeer. Coffee breath, morning walks, that's us though. 25 days, that's Vlogmas, baby. Baby. Merry Christmas. Merry okay. Christmas. This is where I look at right now. Mm -hmm. I just was investigating this area. I either woke up with a zit on my birthday, but it doesn't really look like a zit and it's kind of like, it's kind of like itchy. So I think I have a bug bite right, right here on my forehead, which is really cute, really fun for my birthday. Jamming out to Christmas Carol. Alexa, pause. So this is what I currently look like. Okay, so gonna have a birthday glow up. Get ready with me right now with you guys. So stay tuned from, no, for how I go from this. I am gonna do my makeup here on the floor. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Doing your makeup on the floor is a really good spot to do your makeup. <laughs> right in front of a window. Nice lighting. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna do my makeup a little different since it's my birthday. I'm starting with the Skin Perfect Primer from Dermalogica. I like this because it's a tiny bit tinted and it just smooths and blurs everything a bit. I'm kind of just willing to go that extra mile today. Especially since I woke up with a zit or a bug bite or something. Not aesthetically pleased. I mean, what are the odds? You could have perfect skin leading up to your birthday. On your birthday, I'm just going to give you something to remember. They said, that's what the skincare god said. Skin gods said to me. You know when you just take extra time to do your makeup too, it usually turns out better. That's what we're hoping for here. So I'm gonna go in with the Smashbox Halo Tinted Moisturizer, which you guys know, talk about all the time. It's my freaking favorite thing. And the shade Light Medium. I'm actually almost out of this, so I just ordered another one. And I'm just gonna rub that in. I like to use my fingers to apply this. It's just a very kind of lightweight product and it's really natural finish and I feel like it just makes it even more natural and like worked into your skin to use your finger. Kind of move your razor right there. This is like I said kind of like a lightweight product so I'm going in with a second layer. Making it a little more full coverage because I'm going like full glam tonight. As you guys know we're in a pandemic. <laughs> no news there so we're not doing anything too crazy but we thought that it would be fun like probably especially because we're in a pandemic and we can't really do anything to get really dressed up tonight for my birthday kind of like how we did on thanksgiving like we don't normally get dressed up for thanksgiving but this year we were like you know what it's just us and we don't have like anything to get dressed up for these days so let's do it and it was really fun i'm gonna take just a tiny bit more of this and kind of just like pat it into some area that i feel like need a little more coverage instead of rubbing this layer i'm gonna do some old school drake in the background it's reminiscing you know that's what you do on your birthday right you just wish you were 20 so just... no every year brings new adventures and new growth and new expansion of your brain and your experiences and your heart and I'm looking forward to another year of that I'm very grateful for another year so I'm not actually like lamenting getting older it's more of just like a joke okay it's pretty good and then this is what it looks like like I love this product I'm gonna go in with the shade light and I like to use this as a concealer instead of an actual concealer because it's the same product so it just goes on very seamlessly and it's a little bit lighter weight than an actual concealer which like sometimes I feel like a concealer with this product messes it up because a concealer is actually like thicker and more fuller covered and this is so light that I don't know. I just feel like it makes it more seamless and these go together. So that's what I've been doing for a little while. But the thing with makeup is I feel you have to be kind of changing up your makeup all the time or else you just get bored or you feel like 
I almost honestly feel like sometimes products stop working for me because I've used them for so long that my face or my skin or maybe just my eye is no longer drawn to it because it's so used to it. So I think it's really good to like mix up your application styles and your products. I mean, at least for me, but also coming from a person who generally just likes change in all areas of life, that might not be good advice for someone who's like very tried and true. For me, I just love change. So I like to change up my makeup routines as well. That looks pretty good. I have a little extra on my hand, so I'm gonna go wash my hands really fast. Oh. I like listening to a little R&B when I'm getting ready. I just love R&B in general. So if you're new here, I'm kind of an oily gal. So this product is very dewy, which is beautiful, but for me, it's a little much. So I like to set it with a little setting powder. I just have the airspun powder here. I'm just gonna pat this in. So I'm not like the shiniest thing on earth, but I still like, even with the setting powder, it still has a really nice kind of just healthy glow to it. All right, and then I'm gonna start on the eye. I just put a poll up. So I put a poll on Instagram of two inspo pictures of Hailey Bieber's makeup. I mean, why not use Hailey Bieber, right? And you guys are voting for the bottom one, but I kind of like the top one. I feel like it goes with my outfit a little bit better. I don't know the heck do I want. Do I want to wing? Okay, maybe I will go with the bottom one. I need to go get some eyeliner. Eyeshadow. All right, so I'm gonna go with the bottom one. It's just kind of like a smoked out, like light brown shadow look. Okay, Haley. Okay. Let's go for it. What I'm wearing is very sparkly. That's all I'll say for now. Talked about this last time I did my makeup on YouTube and I still haven't washed my makeup brushes. I just really hate that task. You know, there's just some things you're never gonna like. I told you guys that Clayton does the water sports in our house, meaning he does the the wet part of the laundry, mostly because I'm afraid of spiders, but also just don't really like touching water. And then he does the dishes. So I think I have a thing with water. I just don't like water that much. Maybe it's because of a fire sign. Clean's a water sign. He loves the water. I can't even really tell what's going on with the eyes here, but just a super soft brown auto look. Tiniest bit like winged out. Okay, I think I need to like warm this up a tiny bit. I'm just using this I Love palette by Sephora Collection. I use this for pretty much every... I have like a couple of these. They, they have different... This one is the light warm eyeshadow. So they have like all these different like tonal ones. And I just bounce between all of them pretty much for like all of my eyeshadow looks. I barely dip into anything else these days because these are just super convenient and handy and... I don't know, I've been loving them. I actually got these from a campaign last year and I literally have been using them ever since. All right, and then she has some like smoked out liner on the bottom. I like never wear eyeshadow on the bottom, so let's see how this goes. I just feel like when you have dark circles, wearing eyeshadow on the bottom can make it worse. But I usually avoid it. Hopefully it doesn't look like a punch in the face. I feel like it's extra wild like having my birthday during vlogmas because there's just so much going on it's hard to be like committed to the birthday vibe because there's so much else going on and just in general like having your birthday near the holidays is kind of a I don't know it's just like a busy hectic time and obviously a lot of people watching and not watching have birthdays on actual holidays so I wonder like what exactly that's like like if your birthday is on Christmas do you how do you celebrate that and is everyone just always trying to celebrate something else on your birthday I'm just putting a little black liner or black shadow in my waterline but honestly I wouldn't even mind if everyone was just celebrating something else on my birthday like I think birthdays are decently fun but I'm not like super obsessed with birthdays not because you're like getting older but just because it's kind of like what did i do like why why are we celebrating <laughs> i didn't do anything actually i don't even think that's it because i don't really like even when you did do something like i don't really like uh a graduation party or anything i never thought that was that cool for me personally 
we talked about this in our why we're not married vlog or like q a i should say but i just don't like love being the center of attention especially at a party i like it when it's more just like abstract I'm not really like about one person who can relate to that all right it's kind of kind of the eyes so far Bryson Tiller so much. Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Palette, the powder one in medium is my ride or die. And going with this MAC 135 brush. I'm just gonna carve out the cheekbones. Try to get the Hailey Bieber cheekbones. Sometimes people tell me that I look like Hailey Bieber, and I'm not saying that I do. But if I was saying I do, it's not really problematic. Hopefully not. But the other day I was actually, it was Hailey Bieber's birthday recently and so I saw some birthday posts for her and there was like a baby picture on one of them or like she was like five or so and it looked so much like my, my photo when I was like five. It was actually really weird to me. Like I was like, whoa. So then I sent it to my mom and I was like, is it just me or does this look like me when I was little? And she's like, no, it totally does look like you. And she's like, who is that? But the funny thing is she already looked so tall when she was like five and i'm not tall at all i'm five four and she looked so much taller than like any baby picture of me so i thought that was kind of funny but after i saw that picture i was like oh like i can see what like maybe now why people say that like i never really saw it or felt it or like felt that it was that accurate for me and people would say it before but then i saw the baby pictures and i was like okay well people must not be wrong if i just saw that so yeah i thought that was kind of funny but i get so many celebrity lookalikes like it's almost like it could just be anyone at this point. I get Scarlett Johansson very often. I honestly, I see a little bit, but not totally. I used to get the Olsen twins a lot when I was younger, which I can kind of see. I've gotten Amanda Se Seyfried? Seyfried? I don't know how to say her name. A couple of times. I've gotten Angelina Jolie sometimes. I've gotten Dua Lipa sometimes. Clayton thinks I look like Dua Lipa. Who else? Stella, what's her name? Lennon Stella? Stella Lennon? I'm dumb because I don't know that person's name. But you guys will know who I'm talking about, I'm sure. So I'm like kind of out of it on uh, pop culture, I guess. Cause I've been contouring my nose a little different lately, actually, because I was looking back at some old pictures when I was like playing around with makeup and I could tell that I contoured my nose differently in one of the pictures. And I was like, that actually looks good. So I'm start trying it again. We're gonna blend out these contours. Oh, remember when this was big on TikTok? I couldn't get the clap right. Could not figure it out. Okay, see, I feel like this tinted moisturizer, I always want to call it a foundation because it is to me, but it is that proper to call it that? I don't know. But it looks like I have freaking highlighter on because it's so glowy. I don't have any highlighter. I mean, I also just have a natural oil spill on my face. So that really helps. Okay, what else does this picture have? Okay, let's go in with some bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the Hoola Benefit Bronzer. Warm up the face a little bit. You know, when you just take a little more time, did I already say this? I can't remember. But literally, I've just been thinking about when you take more time on your makeup, it just turns out so much better. It's like one of those things that if you rush it, it could really backfire. Whereas sometimes when you do your hair in a rush, it turns out better than you spent like hours on it. Or just like when you sleep on your hair and you wake up and it looks good, but then you like spend five hours doing your hair and it looks bad. It's a mood. It's a big life mood. I'm gonna use, uh, I usually use a cream blush, but I'm gonna use a powder blush today. This is the Hourglass Sublime Flush. It's really pretty. All right, for starters, I'm gonna curl my lashes. So I used to have lash extensions. If you followed me for a while, you probably knew that. But since the pandemic, I haven't had them. And sometimes I really miss it because it's so convenient. It's so nice to just not have to do that part of things. I also actually really like not having them. Sometimes I like to just have nothing on and it just feels like more comfortable and natural to like not have that. But so I've had to get used to all these things like curling my lashes again and putting on mascara and learning how to do false lashes. 
because that's something I was literally never good at. I've actually gotten a lot better since I've been practicing. This is the Hourglass Unwalked Mascara, I believe it's called. And I really like this mascara. Gosh, I look so weird when I have no eyebrows on. I'm just like, eye makeup. That freaks me out. All right, and then today, actually, I tried a new lash earlier when I had my day makeup on. I really like them. So these are from Bellamy. They're called the Rider Die. They look massive. They're actually really pretty. I cut the outer edge off, so I cut the longest part off, just like a little chunk of it. And then I use the Duo glue in black. And for me, actually, I prefer putting my lashes on with my fingers rather than tweezers. It works so much better for me personally. I know everybody's different and everybody has their tricks that work for them and stuff. But if you particularly struggle with lashes and you haven't tried using your fingers, you should. All right, letting that glue dry. This is hard and I get really nervous when I'm on camera doing it because I feel like it's gonna get messed up. Mm-hmm. I think it went decent. The hard part is kind of like getting your natural lashes to cooperate sometimes. Alright, part one of the lashes is done. Oh my god, you know what I just realized? I didn't put on my under eye. My first step. Cool. I just have extra bad bags today. No, it's okay. I get a little, what's the word, a little disoriented when I'm doing my makeup over here on the ground because I usually just do it in my bathroom since everything's over there. But for filming, it's like really dark in there. I always find that this eye is easier to put the lash on. Probably because I'm right-handed and right eye dominant. Well, I guess I can't really look at this eye. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way that, like, if you're right-handed, the or whatever hand you're dominant with, putting the lash on that eye, maybe the way your hand, like, slants is just easier. These are, like, very winged out, like, snatchy lashes. They're not super natural looking. They're in a good place, lash-wise. Now we're gonna start on the brows. My ride or die brow pomade benefit brow just use a little tissue that i always have with this kind of work the product i did my uh makeup already once today you know for just like the daytime and i did my brows way too dark so i'm trying not to do my brows too dark this time okay so then once i have them kind of outlined i'm just going to fill them in kind of lightly so it doesn't get too crazy. Like my eye look is a little more bold than I normally do too. So keep this a little softer on the brow than I normally do. All right, let's do lips. Okay, for lips, I'm, I'm still have to finish my brows too, but. For lips, I'm going in with this ColourPop lip liner in the shade Chi. I love the ColourPop liners. They're super like, what's the right word for that? Velvety? Like really soft, they never dry out. I would say that is my favorite quality in a lip liner. I really like the lips looking nice and pouty. Then I'm gonna take this Revlon Ultra Matte HD in the shade Dusty Rose. This is a nice like pink, pretty like bright pink color actually. A little purpley. You know I love to mix lipsticks. So I'm taking the Smashbox here for it on top of that, which is like a lighter kind of nude. All right, I'm gonna finish the brows. Just do some flicked hairs at the front. All right, and then I'm gonna finish off the brows with this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel. This is in the shade Chocolate. Now we're gonna do some highlight. Iconic London Illuminating Drops. This is in the shade Original. I use a pencil brush. Cupid's bow. I remember when we saw SZA at Coachella. Not sure if Coachella's ever gonna happen again. Just kidding, I don't know. She seems very foreign at this point. Why are you saying that? All right, what am I doing? Setting powder, setting spray. 
All right, so I'm gonna do this lip oil. It's not really a gloss, it's an oil. I love the way these look. This is in the shade Sugar Mama. Seems like a good day for glistening lips. All right, and then setting spray. I just ran out of my iconic London setting spray, which is so glowy and beautiful. I also love this one from Hourglass Veil. It's like really soft mister and it makes the makeup look flawless. So I also love this. I have a little beauty mark right here. Kind of want to make it like a little more defined. So for that, I'm just going to use the Freck. Or no, the uh, ColourPop Freckle Pack. Now we're gonna do our hair. So this tutorial has actually been highly requested by you guys. So I'm finally gonna share how I've been doing this hairstyle that I wear quite often. It's a go-to for me and I love it. I'm gonna be sharing this hairstyle. I am going to be using Eva NYC. Thank you to Eva for partnering up on today's video with me. If you guys have followed for a while, you know Eva is one of my absolute favorite hair brands. I've used them for so long before I was an influencer. So I'm going to start with the 10 in 1 Main Magic. This is like a heat protectant and it also helps with just like smoothing, locking in moisture and shines. 10 benefits all in one product. So we absolutely love it basically. And then I'll also be using the straightener from Eva. This is my favorite straightener, hands down, especially for this look. I have other straighteners that I've tried to do this look with and they do not work as well for this like flipped effect. So next thing I'm going to do is get a hairband. I would use like a clear one, but my hair is quite thick and it's just not really going to work for this hairstyle so just sectioning off the top portion of my hair i am never very like particular with how i do my parting or my hair or anything i'm just like not that perfectionist i guess so do with that what you will and then i'm taking this brush just like a fine brush this is a four bristle brush you can get them pretty much anywhere and they just like really smooth out the hair this is really good for like slicked back ponies or buns or anything like that and then I'm just going to hopefully that's all smooth sometimes i have to do this a few times it's really hard for me to get my hair completely smooth because i have thick hair so there's a lot of it but it's fine so it like moves around a lot and does whatever it wants okay so we're kind of just gonna make it like that. A little waterfall on top of our head. I'm sweating. Okay. And then we're just gonna go and start styling it. So I put this on the hottest setting. Do whatever's best for your hair. And then we're just gonna smooth out top. Cause it's basically just like a straight hairstyle. And then on the bottom, we're just gonna flip it under. Like I said, I don't know if it is the shape of this curl or this straightener or what the technology, but whatever it is, this is the best straightener I found for this flipping effect. It does it so nicely. So this is pretty easy. We're just gonna go throughout the hair and smooth all of it pretty much, except for that bottom layer or that bottom part that we're just gonna flip under. depending on what you're going for you can either do it kind of more like flipped like that or you can like curl it more and make it like a true kind of like barrel my hair will like kind of lose the curl anyways a little bit so it's fine for me to like do it a little extra because it will kind of like fade as the day or night or whatever it is goes on but either way works, whatever floats your boat. This is such a good song. Then we're just gonna go on to the other side and do the same thing. All right, and now we're gonna move on to the ponytail at the top. So I'll take a bit of hair from this and wrap it 
around the base and just secure that with a bobby pin. Okay, so like that. And then for this actual hair, kind of like to flip this a bit more in. But nothing like super extreme. It's kind of like that. So really just focusing on the ends. And All right, and then I have these evil little pieces up here that just want to be a part of the fun. How can we help them? Okay, right, hopefully they're satisfied with that. That is pretty much it for this hairstyle. So it's actually really easy. I'm just gonna do a little bit more of the 10 in one to kind of like smooth it out and add some shine. Let's get straighten this bit a little more. Now, let's get dressed. Okay, so this is how my hair turned out. I love this hairstyle. It's honestly really cute for something casual as well, but it's perfect for getting a little dressed up. But it's still playful. It's not like too chic. And I wear it for like every day as well. So I'll link everything from Eva in the description box for you guys. Of course, you can always shop their things and use my discount, Delaney15, for 15% off. I literally love them. They are just chef's kiffs chef's kiss so shout out to them and now let's do the outfit so for tonight's outfit i'm going sparkly guys i would not normally do that for my birthday i'm like i'm i'm surprised that i'm doing that but i just want to make the most out of the weird year that 2020 is and just have fun with it and like getting dressed up right now is really oddly like satisfying to me i don't know it's just fun even though you have nowhere to go like you literally stay in your house but dressed up it's fun to me so i'm gonna put this on get a little ready pour it back all right here is my sparkly outfit i love this i think it's so fun I've, i kind of feel like britney spears in the toxic video well a little bit like that but also a little bit like britney spears in the oops i did it again video and the red this is obviously not red but kind of with this hair and stuff it's giving me retro vibe but anyway this is a one piece jumpsuit it is silver and white it's got fringe and sparkle everywhere and shaking it and <laughs> move your fringe. I paired it with white booties because I don't really want to wear heels and these were just kind of the most obvious answer to me. And I think that it's so fun with the hair and makeup. So this has like a little mock neck and I don't know, I just I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it's fun. It feels festive and celebratory and it's still kind of like funky and cool. It's not like super feminine, but still formal, which is kind of hard to do sometimes. But you guys know I like more masculine style and boyish things. So this kind of fits right in. It's a little more like flirty and fun and out there. So love it. It's a party. Okay, Clayton's lovely outfit. I finally outfit. made it. <laughs> Hello, everybody. I'm about to. Oh my god, you look adorable. I gotta put it underneath You look so handsome. So this is us. I'm a B-Day. The B-Day right. bit. We're look going. At, look at this thing. What are you? Kind of like a, a snow angel. Mm-hmm. Okay, we are going on our little adventure, so we have to hurry out the door. We'll, we'll see catch up, but here's our fits. Okay. We made it in the car. Got a dapper driver over here. Where to, miss? <laughs> Oh no, you can get the straight piece. I have no mobility in so it's okay, I'll help you. That was a wild little day. I mean, I was Woo! running around like crazy. These short days, they will really get the best of you. Goes by really fast. Like, we barely got anything done, I feel like, because, oh god, if it falls, I can't. I, I literally can only move my arm this much. We are going to go on a little Duffy ride. So, a little boat around the harbor with Drew and Molly. They are friends that we see during quarantine, or like a little pod. So, we are gonna go on a boat with them, catch the sunset, possibly. It looks like it's already setting or it's too foggy or something. Yeah, there's a little cloud today. But nonetheless, it'll be fun. There's a bunch of Christmas lights on the harbor. So, we'll like ride around and look at those. 
So just something kind of like a little special fancy. Yeah, that we can do during these off times. So yeah, that's kind of the plan and we're all dressed up. Drew and Molly are dressed up too. I don't know what they look like yet, but I'm very excited to see. Yeah. And you got a straight hair. Where? It's poking up right there. Can you see it? Yeah. So we're gonna have some appetizers, probably gonna have some wine. Special occasion, you know. Let's go. Let's have a glass of wine. You can I only turn 28 once. It's true. I feel like somehow some people are under the impression that we are completely sober, although we've said in multiple videos that we're not, including the video that says why we don't really drink. Yeah, because we don't says really, really drink. Oh my god, pretty that is. But it's weird. Like I feel like if I've had a glass of wine over the past six months or something, and someone's seen, they're like, "Oh my god, are you having alcohol?" And it's like, "Yeah, I never said I never have alcohol." Like. So it's one of those weird things, like I control what I say, not what you hear. So if somehow that was what you heard. It's on you, it's on you boo. I said I didn't do that. Some vegan cheese hors d'oeuvres. <laughs> Give a look. Sunset, Christmas lights, friends. And we're gonna go home and eat some dinner with our friends as well. And play some board games probably. Yeah. Or watch a... Christmas movie, maybe. Penny. Oh. Hi, Penny. Hi, Penny. Go, 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 Penny. Go, go, go. Beautiful night out here. A little cloud coverage. Should make for a pretty sky here in a little bit. Careful in them booties, girl. Hi, Penny. Roo. The green. Welcome forward. The green. Happy birthday. Thank you. Wow, the green is spectacular. Look. That is nice. Let's get the whole view here. Ooh Looking good, Drew. Happy We got the blue velvet. Look at that. That is gorgeous. And Penny, what are you wearing tonight? Penny, 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 Penny. Nope, the guacamole is not for you, Penny. And we're off. Oh yeah, you gotta go look. Oh my gosh! Oh, that is so cute. I love that. That is so sweet. Oh, thank you guys. That's why you were unallowed to look at my phone. Oh my gosh! I was scheming. How did you do that? We had everybody take one. We had, so we had all these, everybody, uh, Delaney's grandparents, Penny, like even Penny even took one. To Molly, Drew, Delaney's mom, Delaney's stepdad, brother, brother, grandma, me, dad, stepmom, and my parents all take a photo with the letter and spell well, happy birthday. Little... Happy birthday, D! Happy birthday. Love you guys. We love you. Okay, we're back home now. We're gonna play board games and order some food in for dinner. And it was really fun dressing up, but now that we're just gonna be like lounging and playing board games, I'm gonna put on comfy clothes. Cause Molly already put on her sweats and it looked so nice. So like, I'm trying to get on that level. She, she made me have FOMO of wearing comfy clothes, so. The boys went to pick up our dinner. I gotta get this jumpsuit off, but it's like a high zipper. Clayton would normally unzip it for me, but since he's not here, I got Mal. I'm here. My stand-in boyfriend. 
It's just the girls now. This is girls only, Penny. Okay. okay. Freedom at last, Penny. Yeah. Gotta go get those sweats bed now. that I've been dreaming of. Now. Oh god, the laundry pile. Not chill. All right, in sweats now. Repping University of Nevada, the alma mater, and we're good. It is now time for pie and the happy birthday song. I didn't have birthday candles, so I just grabbed some candlesticks from upstairs. And we're gonna light this guy. Remember Chris and Liv when they had their baby on the- Candles have never been larger. Okay, a three, a two, a one. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Delaney. Happy birthday to you. Woo! All right, good job. So I'm gonna give you guys pie details real quick. I believe it is like a Spell with pie cheese. Vanilla cheesecake <laughs> with the Oreo crust, Oreo crumbles on top, oh. raspberry jam on top. And this was made by our friend at Sweet Dreams Bakery OC. And we've had them a, yeah, we've bakery. had we've had them a few times and they're super good. So I had them make us a pie for Delaney's birthday. So we're super stoked to try this. And I think it's gonna be delish. That's what it looks like when I take this hairstyle down. Okay, I'm gonna be your hairstyle. Literally, okay. I'm gonna be your hairstyle. I look like a goat or something. So I'm gonna give you a the- A billy goat. I'm gonna give you the crooked ponytail, I call it. It's where you pull a little bit more from one side. Wrap around the face. Oh my god, you're gonna really do something. There it is. Crooked ponytail, peacock. It's cute. Happy birthday, baby. Thank you. Did you have a good day? I did. That was good. really nice. So yeah. That was my birthday. That this was is birthday. 28. Holy Let's crap. Can you have a it? good year. Let's. So, cheers to that. You're going to crush 28. You're going to make 28. Thank year. you <laughs> to everyone who said happy birthday to me. Yeah, you guys I are love sweet. you all. I got so many messages. I love to that wish guy. her a happy birthday. And, and don't worry, I relayed them all to her. This is it. 2020 been a hell of a year. It's time to sit back, relax, spread some cheer. D plus the kid, have no fear. It's the most magical time of the year. Garland stockings, hot cocoa. Eggnog Santa in the reindeer. Coffee breath, morning walks, that's us though. 25 days, that's Vlogmas, baby. Baby. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.